or you don't know me, I became an executive last September, just a, a handful of days before convention. My goal was, um, the, my goal was the Saturday, my goal was the Sunday before convention a week. And I may, I was a week late, but I was close. So, um, and I wanted to share a little bit about my family. I'm a mother of four. I have 11 grandchildren. I have one great granddaughter as well. My oldest grandson has a little girl. So I have a big family. Um, my daughter, Brandy right here with her daughters and son, my daughter, Brianne, who just arrived today from Arizona with Jackson and Finley, my husband, Mark, my daughter, Brittany, right here with her husband, John, and then that's also her. She was at the promptings in Phoenix, and so it was kind of cool because Cody had Whitney there, I had Brittany there, and Steve Schultz, I don't know if you can see it, he's hidden under this a little bit, Steve Schultz had Emily there, so the three of us had our three daughters there, which was very cool. And then I'm not sure if you can see her, but that's Brayland. That's Ben's oldest daughter. Um, so just wanted to share a little bit about my family and um, who I am. So one of the things Candace asked me to talk about was auto dealerships and the kinds of cards that we use. So I'm going to ask you real quick. Are you able to see these cards right here over to the side? Yes, we can see them. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Because I, I see your, you and you've kind of hidden the cards. So I'm going to go through these really quick. I've got a lot of slides and basically they're cards that I've created and used. And I'm going to go quick and go through them and kind of tell you what we use them for. So when Ben had his car dealership, I did a lot of cards and this was a promotion that we did. Um, it says, you know, are you looking for a new vehicle or do you know someone who is? We can help. And so this was a promotion card that we did. So, you know, Cody talks about 80-20. Uh, three cards should be stay in touch and who should be looking for business. So this is one of the ones that we use for a promotion. And then we always send a thank you card. Um, sometimes we put the picture of the, the people on the front that bought the car. That's preferable. Sometimes we didn't get their picture or maybe, you know, rarely do they not want the picture taken. But if that didn't happen, then we had a card like this. And uh, actually, I shared this card. I have another car dealer that uses this same card. And so they're not as good about getting pictures of the people. So they have the front of the card, and then they, this is a picture of their dealership, and it's a thank you card. So always send a thank you card and two brownies after somebody buys a car. Uh, we did this as a promotion card in the spring. We sent it out in January. Um, if you're in the auto dealership business, Tax time is your one of your busiest times because people get tax refunds and they're several thousand dollars sometimes. And what are they going to do with that? They're going to buy a big screen TV or sometimes, you know, a car, a big ticket item. So we, um, we sent this card, refer a friend and get, and then the picture of the hundred dollar bill. And then at the top, it says nothing influences people more than a recommendation from a trusted friend. Refer a friend, and when they purchase a car from us, then that person received $100 cash. And so that was a, we sent it in, in January, and that was a deal that we did through the end of tax season. And then, of course, a holiday card. So, um, you know, just a, a simple holiday card. Again, anytime you can put a picture in the card, it makes it more personal. This is a, a picture of my other daughter and her family that I put in here for you. But um, anytime you can put a picture of your staff or your family, that makes that card so much more personal to the person getting it that it's, it's just always a great idea to do that. Um, and then maybe a Christmas card isn't always the best idea. What about a New Year's card? And I encourage people to do a New Year's card and, and put a calendar in it. So, you know, you could have put a calendar right here or you could treat a card where, you know, you could do a horizontal card where the calendar is on the inside. And those people a lot of times will hang up that card on their bulletin board or above their desk and it hangs there all year long. And at the bottom, it has Joe's Car Shop or, you know, whatever the name of the car dealership is. So putting that calendar in there is a good way to have it out and exposed to the people all year long. And I love New Year's cards. I always send a New Year's card. As we all know, Christmas time is a busy time to help other people do their holiday cards. 
I wait until New Year's and do a card. One reason, because my daughters tend to get holiday pictures done and they don't always have them in time for me to do a Christmas card. And I like to put pictures of my family in. So I, a lot of times will do a New Year's card. So here's another, you know, this is something you can get excited about. Bring this card in and you receive your oil change for $10. And then my other dealership is also doing this for Mulder Auto Sales here in Kalamazoo. Um, if you didn't know, I'm going to tell you now that I'm a huge NASCAR fan. And uh, Ben used to have a race car, so we were real involved in the race community. So this is one of the cards that we sent out every spring bring um, just to stay in front of the people and so took pictures off of uh, the NASCAR website took pictures this picture right here is from our own local track put those on the front of the card and then up here I put the local tracks and the address where they are and what night they race and what time and everything and then we just say race season is here we encourage you to support your local track because anybody that got this card from us that knew us, knew that we were NASCAR fans, race fans, and so they'd get this card and they pretty much knew right away who this card was gonna be from. And then here was another keep in touch card that we did uh, one year, it was for the 4th of July. We gave them the recipe for Coney Island Dogs, which is a great, you know, 4th of July treat. And it, it was just a fun card to send out, colorful, uh, basically just saying hope you have a great 4th of July and and it was fun to get in the mail and fun for us to send so here's a car care checklist we sent this card out in the fall we had a, a representative that sold these products to us so we use that for the front of the card and then checklist what you need to be doing before when and the tips actually came well, it says my internet. Are you hearing me okay? You're hearing me okay? Because, okay. Um, so it just says, you know, here's some tips from AAA to help you get your car ready. And then here's a promotion card we did. You know, the car looks sickly. It says cars get sick too. When they do, let us help you make them well. Or, you know, to, to purchase a new car. So that was another promotion card. So let's talk about holiday cards. When we talk about holiday cards, everybody thinks about Christmas. But there's a lot of other times of the year to send a holiday card. So this is my daughter's family. They got their pictures taken, but they were late getting them done. And so uh, they didn't get them done in time for Christmas. So when I saw the pictures, the first thing I thought of was, this is going to make a great Valentine card. So we did Valentine cards instead to the Christmas list. The colors were perfect. They're adorable. I know you're thinking that. <laughs> so what a great card. Um, so it doesn't have to be a Christmas card or a New Year's card. It could be a Valentine card. It could be a Thanksgiving card. It could be a Halloween card, a, you know, a Fourth of July card if that's your favorite holiday. So mix it up and don't always, you know, send a Christmas card because honestly, it gets thrown in the pile with all the others. And this really sets you apart. Um, so here's another example of a New Year card, just kind of a fun card. There's room to put your pictures in. It's a really simple card to make, has a simple message, but it's a cute card because it's not red and green. It's a little bit different color and it, it's just, um, it's eye catching. So think outside the box and don't always and hear it. Here's invitation that I did for a company it's it's a black background and then I typed the word join us three times and I changed the color because they wanted red green and white so I changed the color and it said join us and then the inside of the card was the invitation to the party and then here's more of a traditional Christmas card you know the green coloring with the snowflake on the bottom and the, the typical Christmas message so I, I put this card in here banner and had sent birthday cards to his clients for 35 years or longer and he always uh, hand signed every card and he sends between 80 and 100 cards a month so that's not a small chore and when I started in send out cards I showed my sister the system and she thought it was great because she was the one that had to run the envelopes 
or, you know, run the labels for the envelopes and really do all the manual work other than signing the card. So when I showed her send out cards, she thought it was a great idea. She showed it to my brother-in-law. He was hesitant because he thought that signing the card made all the difference in the world. Well, here's what I think all of us know. It's not about who, how the card is signed, whether it's with a pen or whether it's with your computer. It's more about that you sent the card and it's what the card says. So my sister convinced him then to try the holiday cards. And so two years in a row, they did a holiday card with one year, it was their picture on the front. And another year, it was a picture of them and their family. And they got more, more response from those two years of Christmas cards than all the years of Christmas cards that he had ever sent. So they've been sending birthday cards now using this system for, well, they started in 2008 when I first started to send out cards. So they've been sending birthday cards since 2008. They've been sending holiday cards since about 2010. And they're one of my biggest customers and they love it. They use it for business invitations and all kinds of things that they, they have used for it in their business. So if you get the excuse from somebody, oh, I like to hand sign my cards, my response is, that's great, I'm glad you're sending cards, but people don't really care if it's signed with a pen or signed with the computer, they care about that you send it and what it looks like. Pretty holiday card with not holiday typical colors. So the brown and the turquoise, but it goes well with the clothing that was in the picture. And it's a simple card to make, but it's very pretty. So think that you can do to, to make your cards different than everybody else's. Here's a Father's Day card. You know, that's a, that's a great card to send. It's a fun, it was a fun card to make. There's a, a place right here to put the picture. There's a place here for the picture. Um, and it's, it's, again, it's a simple card, but I think it's a, it's a really cute card for Father's Day. And we probably don't think about, I don't think probably there's near as many Father's Day cards sent as there are Mother's Day. Mother's Day, I tend to send cards to a lot of my friends who are mothers. So I've tried to be more diligent about Father's Day. I send cards to my son-in-laws and my uncles who are dads and my friends who are dads. And so I've tried to be better about celebrating the dads just as much as I celebrate the moms. What are some odd holidays? So you can get online and you can find every day of the week, there is some holiday, whether it be a silly holiday, a serious holiday, whatever. So there's actually a PB and J day. And my friend that I went to school with from the time I was little um, loved peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. She brought them for lunch every day. And so I saw that it was going to be PB and J day. So I made this card and I put a, the recipe for peanut butter and jelly. Um, it's kind of like monkey bread. And I put it in there and sent it to her. And she just thought it was so fun. And she's like, oh my gosh, do you remember this? Do you remember that? All the things that we used to do in grade school. So it was just a fun card to send. That is such okay. A what about a Thanksgiving there. card? I, I have a question. Go ahead. I know you're on a roll, but I know that these, and this no, is right. a joy, but I was asking myself the same question. I know you're not getting these graphics from the send out cards, um, clip art. So how are you designing these cards? No. Okay. I was a scrapbooker for a long time. And I, these are digital scrapbook kits that I bought. So I have hundreds of digital scrapbook kits and um, I'll, Candace, I'll share you the, share with you the companies after we get off because I'll, I'll have to kind of look them up. Um, one of them is called, I believe is called My Memories. Um, I think the company is really called Story Rock and unbelievably they are, they are in Salt Lake City and they're about, 10 minutes away from the send out cards office, but I'll share them with you. But mostly that's what it is. And the nice thing about those are that they're reasonably priced. You get papers and clip art and everything, and you can use them over and over and over and over and over. So when I was a traditional scrapbooker and I had paper and all that, those, you know, everything was um, the real deal. I just couldn't imagine somebody doing digital scrapbooking. And then I saw send out cards 
And then, and that's really what some of our cards are. It's a digital scrapbook. And so then I was like, Oh my gosh. So you can just buy thousands and thousands of digital scrapbook images and, and you load them like a picture. So it's, it's awesome. So yeah, my, my cards, some of them, some of them are very simple. Some of them like this one have a lot of stuff on them, but it came from, it came from some of those kits. So, uh, you know, here's a happy Thanksgiving card. There's room for your message. You could, you know, put a picture on the front, whatever you wanted to do. And here's a happy Halloween card. Um, I send cards like this to my grandchildren because four of my grandchildren live in Arizona. One lives in California, one lives in Illinois. So I can't be there with them, but I like to send cards and they like to have little $5 Starbucks cards because they think they have their own credit card and they like to go spend it at Starbucks So they'll typically get a card like this with a little gift card in it Again, here's a happy Thanksgiving card from all of us and I put all those cute little animals on and um, Just googled I googled uh, Thanksgiving card greetings and you know, there's a million of them to choose from. I mean, I didn't come up with them on my own by any means. So there's, there's so many things at your fingertips that you can use to make your card different than anybody else's. And I, I encourage you to Google, because the other thing is you can Google just about any image you want. So if you Googled, you know, a dog sitting on a tractor, there's probably images out there of dogs sitting on tractors so you can you can create just about anything so my friends got married and I couldn't go to the wedding so what I did was obviously took their pictures off of Facebook and um, when I go to a wedding I never take a gift I take my phone my phone and I take a bunch of pictures and then I go home and I create a card this was a big card and I create a card, or if I wasn't able to be at the wedding, they usually post things on Facebook. I'll try to take the pictures and put them on a card, and then I'll send the card with um, a gift card. And it's typically the first printed photos of their wedding that they're gonna get. Because it'll be within the first week of their marriage. They're gonna get a card like this with these pictures. Okay, what are they gonna do with it? She's gonna put it in her purse, or She's going to show it to everybody. And then they're like, oh my gosh, how did, who sent that to you? You know, how did you get that card with your pictures? And, you know, you flip it over and, and there's my stuff on the back. So it's, it's good for me. I don't have to shop. I don't have to go to pennies and get the gift registry or whatever. It's easy for me. I love taking pictures on my phone and I can go home and within 30 minutes I can have a card and everything done and out to them. Okay, here's a get well card that I created. Um, room for some pictures. If you, you know, I think if you can put a picture in a card every time you can, it's better. Um, I know we can't always, but if you could put a picture on the front and inside of the person of their grandchildren or their dog or their husband or whatever it is, it just makes the card more special and it shows that you really took a little time to think about them, even though we already know that really that doesn't take us a lot of time but the thought is there and it just shows that you've got you've gone a little bit above and beyond just a, a normal card from the card catalog um so here's another um anniversary cards you know these are images that i googled there's a there's a site called pixabay p-i-x-a-b-a-y.com and you can purchase image you don't purchase they're free you can use any of the images from Pixabay on your cards. They're all royalty free. So you can use them for business or whatever you want. And there's constantly new pictures on there and artwork and there's just a ton of stuff. And then I also use Shutterstock for some of my images, but um, these are just some images from there. And so another, another reason to send cards and to, to just come up with some, some pretty images to put on the front. Um, here's here's an example of three baby cards that I've done. Uh, those images came from uh, probably Pixabay or Shutterstock, and then I just put the word congratulations on this one. Um, quick and easy to do, but 
just different and cute and I like to be able to mix it up a little bit. And then this is a, a baby boy card that I did and I also did a baby girl one very similar to it and I've probably shared this card 300 times with people. It was just, it was out there and people saw it and I just kept getting requests to share, to share, to share and that was long before Sincere. So um, another fun card, room for pictures. Down here you can put the name and the date and, and all the information and it makes it a keepsake for the baby book. Uh, this is a stay in touch friendship card. So I had a friend who was flower crazy. Her, her flowers at her house just overtake everything. And I kind of felt like this background paper like overtook everything and it just reminded me of her and her flowers. And so I just, you know, sent her a, a little, a, a card that just said, hey, you know, I was thinking of you, bloom where you're planted. I put our picture in the front and um, it's, it's a stay in touch card that she's never gonna throw away. And here's another one, you know, I, I like flowers too, but it's just finding joy and watching you grow. I sent this to, uh, you know, just a group of people that I tend to stay in touch with and that are working send illustrated that her business wasn't growing. And um, joy was my word for last year. So I tried to put joy in a lot of the cards that I sent. So finding joy and watching me grow. And I sent, put our pictures in it. And, you know, she called me, Melinda, I love the card. I've got it hanging up. It's going to remind me not to give up on days that I feel frustrated. So very simple card. Friends, knock your socks off. I saw that. I saw the front of this card, not exactly like this, but I saw a card similar to this and it just made me smile. And I thought, what a cute idea. So I came home and Googled socks and I put in, you know, thinking of you and put our pictures in to uh, just send cards to your friends. So Kyle Busch is my favorite NASCAR driver, and uh, the year that he had the wreck and broke his leg, he and his wife also had a baby. So I used that card that I showed you a minute ago. I took pictures off of her Facebook page, put the pictures on the card, and sent them the baby card. And so uh, then I got this in return. It was a handwritten thank you note signed by Kyle and Samantha Bush, which I have saved. I have a little little desk area where I have all my Kyle Bush autographed things. So that was kind of cool that they sent me a thank you card. I sent them uh, the little boy like blanket and giraffe and things that we had in our gift store. And so then I started sending him cards af after almost every race. I missed a few, but I would take the pictures off his website um, of when he raced and he won and I would put them on a card and, and send cards to him. Um, I haven't been very good about it this year. I just haven't felt very good since I had my surgery and I've really been struggling with energy and that kind of thing. But I was sending a, a lot of cards to him after the races. And it, it's, you know, it's a card to build a relationship, really. I, I can't believe he's not going to know when I say I'm the lady that sends you the cards. He's not going to know what I'm talking about. Um, so the racetrack that's local um, the guy that owns it is a good friend of mine. Ben used to race his car there. He signed up for send out cards three years ago and he pays, pays me with trade. He gives me free tickets and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and I send cards to the winners every week. So he typically has five winners a week at the racetrack. The guy that's the photographer for the racetrack is also a distributor of mine. So he gets me the pictures of the winners. I put the pictures on the card. Um, it's a card that's, that's made and saved so I can use it over and over again. And then we send a card like this and the guy, you know, the guy who that wins gets his picture on the front with two brownies. And the first year that he actually had me start doing it, I think he did it more as a favor to me because I was doing so much at the racetrack that he thought he kind of owed me. Well, then what he found out was that a few of the guys at the racetrack who maybe he didn't always get along with the greatest or who kind of were problems at the racetrack. After they won and they got this card brownies in the mail, now all of a sudden their attitude at the racetrack has changed. And he told me he could not believe the feedback that he got that first year from the cards and the brownies. So 
I'm in my third year of sending the cards and the brownies for him. And I actually do it also then for uh, the South Bend, Indiana, South Bend Motor, Speed, Motor Speedway. We send the cards to the winners for them as well. So these are just a couple cards that, you know, show you what it looks like. So the guy that wins, you know, gets a couple pictures. He's never going to throw this away. You know, winning is a, is a big deal. If you drive a race car, they're never going to throw it away. So another cool story from the racetrack is last summer, they had a, this, this enclosed trailer and uh, it's, it's a race trailer. So like the race car would fit in it and there's room for all your tools and all kinds of stuff in this race trailer. And uh, the gentleman in this picture, one is a distributor for the trailer company and one is the company that builds the trailers. So every year for the past three or four years, they donated a trailer to a racetrack. The racetrack raffles um, tickets and then whoever wins the, the trailer, you know, obviously gets to keep the trailer, but the, the speedway gets to keep the money from the raffle for the trailer and use it for you know like something they do in the community so the kalamazoo speedway every year adopts families and buys christmas gifts and food for families and depending on how much money they've raised or the fundraisers you know depends how many families they help so last year was the first year that kalamazoo was able to raffle this trailer they made enough money i believe it was uh close to ten thousand dollars that they were able to raise raffling or selling tickets for this trailer they were able to buy gifts for 40 children and families which was the, these are pictures of the gifts it was amazing so the owner of the racetrack again is a friend of mine he called me he said melinda would you send a card to uh the the people that gave us the trailer so we did we sent them a card and we sent them one of the great big uh crates with all the goodies in them and so two, two crates of goodies and two cards, you know, probably cost the guy at the racetrack, you know, a couple hundred dollars. And so we sent them and then Gary called me and said, Melinda, you're not going to believe I got phone calls from both of these guys. They were blown away by the card and, and the box of goodies. They'd never ever received a written thank you from any of the other tracks that they had donated the trailer to. He told, the guy told Gary, we've never ever donated a, a race trailer twice to the same track two years in a row, but because of this card and the goodies that you sent and how appreciative you were of what we did, we're going to donate a trailer to you again this summer. So uh, two cards, two crates of goodies, about what, $200 in value, got him $10,000 donation last year, and they're gonna easily sell tickets another 10,000 this year. So that $10,000 is gonna help another 40 families this year. And Gary was blown away. He called me and he said, you know, usually I only hear about the bad stuff, but he was just tickled to death that we sent these cards and the result that he got from them. So um, they're raffling another trailer off this year at the racetrack. My granddaughter McKenna uh, is driving a big car this year. For the past five years, she raced quarter midgets. She just turned 14 a couple weeks ago, and she's been uh, racing at the Galesburg Speedway, which is another speedway close to us. Um, her car is the number 23. And um, on the 4th of July, there were some people racing at the track that don't normally race there, and one guy was getting frustrated that he could not get past her because she's a good little driver. So as you can see right here, he decided he was gonna run her into the wall. So he ran her into the wall on purpose and uh, she sat there and her mother and I went racing down to the fence and they brought the ambulance out just to be safe and they took her in the ambulance and checked her out. She was fine, she was sore for a couple of days, but by the next Saturday she had a different car to race and she was back out on the track. And so what we did was we sent, uh, I, I created this card, her picture, it says thank you, pictures from the race that night, one of them right here uh, was her banged in into the wall and it just said, you know, thank you, 
to, to the staff. It wasn't the night we were hoping for, but that's how it goes sometimes. We wanted to thank you and your crew for getting to her so quickly and professionally and, and et cetera. And I signed it as if it came from her and her family. And right here is the picture of her and her family. And we added 36 brownies so that he could share those brownies with all the guys that help at the track, you know, the track and safety and all those guys. So he told my son-in-law that he got the card and the brownies. He couldn't believe it when he got it. He had a meeting with his staff and, and at the meeting, he showed them the card. He handed out the brownies and everybody was blown away by what we did because we appreciated that they took such good care of her. She's four, she wasn't even 14 years old yet. She was 13 still. And um, it was just something we wanted to do. It's the mentality that all of us on this call have, but it's not the mentality that these people have because they, they've never been treated like that. So um, my, next, my next visit with him is going to be seeing if he doesn't want to send cards to the winners. Uh, at his racetrack as well, because now he's experienced send out cards. Um, so am I doing good on time or two in my past? Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. So keep going. Okay. So this card and the card I'm going to show you next are two of the birthday campaign cards that I created that I got some of the most feedback on. Um, I put in three of my favorite recipes and I, you know, I put the deer and the insert name feature right here and it says happy birthday and it's a campaign card. So when my women's birthdays come up, then I chose, you know, their name and sent them this card. And it was one of the most popular cards that I'd ever sent. And so then I did another one a couple years later with different recipes and it's just, it's, it takes a little time to do it because of typing the recipes. But what I did was I typed them in Word so that then I could copy and paste them into send out cards and it worked great and people love these cards. So I totally encourage you to do this. Put in two or three of your favorite recipes. People love them. Here's another just fun birthday card, full of color, room for pictures. It's a, it's a campaign card that I saved so that I can go in and throw some pictures in quickly and send a birthday card. Here's the front of a couple birthday cards. Again, I Googled these images just to have something different. And, you know, they're colorful. I love bright colors. Um, it's, it's just a fun card to, to be able to send the way that the coloring is. Um, it's exciting. It's like, oh, it's happy birthday. It makes me smile. Here's another birthday card I did. So I'm a huge Cub fan, have been long before the Cubs won the World Series. And my cousin's son is as big or more of a Cub fan than I was. So a few years ago, this was the front of the card. And it said, as one of our most loyal fans, the Chicago Cubs have season tickets in your name for the rest of your life. And then he opened up and says, ha ha, gotcha. And then uh, happy birthday. So he thought it was great. He loved this card. And this is a card that we collect birthdays from uh, the racetracks of the people that drive. And so I saw this card. I saw the wording of this car on another card. So I stole the wording, but I Googled, huh? Yep, real NAS. And that's how the term NASCAR was invented. So it's a great card to send to um, people that race cars because they think it's funny. Uh, that was our, our race car at the time, a picture of Ben and I. And then this was a picture of the night he won the race at Kalamazoo. And um, so we just, you know, send that card as a happy birthday card. And it was a fun card to do. Again, it was a campaign card, so I had it saved. Here's another um, campaign card I have saved. It's quick and easy to use. I like to create a few of them at the beginning of the year and save them. So when those birthdays come around, I have some choices. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's some thank you cards. So um, just some, again, I Googled these images um, just to have some different things in my campaign. So I have some different thank you campaigns that I can go to quickly and use. And this was a thank you. So last year after I made executive 
I, you know, I was because of the people that were my customers and I had the volume and the people who were my distributors who came on board with me. And then um, what, what's my why? What were my why? Well, my why's were my grandchildren. So this is uh, all my eight, eight grandchildren, my husband, um, and my great granddaughter right there with her dad. And so I sent a card that just said with gratitude, you know, it was in October, so it was a good time to send a card that looked like fall because I wanted those people to know that I appreciated everything they did to help me get where I was at. You don't get to executive on your own. You have to have people who are willing to work or at least work with you. So um, this was the card I sent, and people really appreciated, you know, that I sent the thank you. Hi, sweetie. Here's the... Thank you card I sent to McDonald's. So um, I love iced tea and I go through McDonald's and they put in a second drive through. And so I just was prompted to create a card, <coughs> excuse me, stopped and took some pictures. Now, now there's two drive through lanes and just wanted you to know that your morning staff is very friendly. I put my license plate here because they know what your car looks like. And um, she got be quiet. And I got a thank you letter for this card from McDonald's saying they'd never gotten a thank you card. They put some coupons in it and thanking me for being a good customer. So Steve Schultz said one time, "Who sends a thank you card to McDonald's?" And and the people in the room said, "Melinda does." And it's like, yes, she does. Um, we sent this card to our bank. Our our bank had. Uh, it was Valentine's Day, and it says, we love our members. So I took a picture of that. Um, they were always so good about kind of jumping through hoops to help us. And so I put a picture of that, and I, we sent them a crate of goodies. So then um, a few days, you know, I went, went in, and they had gotten the box of goodies that day. And you can barely see it back here, but it was already empty. They had gotten it that day. I was there in the afternoon. The goodies were gone. And so I took a picture of Michelle holding the card. Um, they appreciated that. Who, who sends their bank a thank you? And I just thought we love our members in the snow was a cute thing to do. And so, um, you know, when you do that and you send them goodies and you go in, the next time they remember you, they know who you are, and, and they continue to give us great service. Specialty cards. Get on Facebook, save a picture. You know, this guy's in my B&I group, and he was so proud of this fish because the guys in the group, a lot of them are fishermen, and so they like to tell fish tales. Well, he had the proof. He had it in his hand, so no fish tales. And then he posted the picture of the card away. Um, card kind of with a fall theme, ring ball. This says, I'll always love you. This is um, a card that I used when we, I was, I used to be involved heavily in the um, breast cancer walk in October. I'm a breast cancer survivor since 2002. And so one year I was in charge of thanking the volunteers. And so I created this card. I added some pictures from the walk and then I sent it to um, the volunteers and they were blown away because they typically got a verbal thank you but they never got something like this in the mail that they could keep. Um, I, met, I met these guys uh, at a restaurant that my husband and I go to. We always sat at the bar because we got best service and we started to, to make friends with Josh and Shelly. And Josh and Shelly don't have any children, but their dogs are their, their children. Their dog passed away. We didn't really know them very well. We just kind of knew of them because we saw them you know, when we'd go there to eat. So I got on Facebook and I saw where the dog had died. So I made this card. It was a big card. And then I added a, it was a little dog like medallion thing that they could keep. And the next time we saw them at the restaurant, they both came up to Mark and I, they both had tears running down their face, how much this card meant to them. It was on their mantle. They would never throw it away. It gave them, uh, you know, an awesome little scrapbook, if you will, of their dog. And so. You know, I didn't really know them very well, but now they're good friends of ours and they're way younger than Mark and I, you know, they could be our kids, but um, it's just because I showed I cared to somebody that I didn't really know very well. 
So Shelly, this is Josh and Shelly, the people with the dog. So then, you know, we got to know each other a little better and found out she and I were both Peyton Manning fans. And he was playing for the Broncos at the time. And they went to Denver to see a game. And she posted these pictures on Facebook. So I, I made this card and sent it to her um, just so they'd have a fun keepsake from the football game. Um, this is a card I did at leap year on leap day. I got more feedback from this card, this card and the recipe birthday cards, probably than any other card I've ever sent. I had people call me. I had a lady who was in her years. I never knew why we had leap year and it shows, you know, just, I Googled it. So why do we have leap year? I Googled it, put it on there. And then I said, you know, make the most of every moment. You're, you're, every four years, you're given an extra 24 hours. We encourage you to make the most of every moment by donating your time and talents to someone who needs your help. Such a simple card, but oh my gosh, I got so much feedback from it. So you've got three years now to figure out about sending this one. Um, this is a card I sent to Craig Nelson. Craig Nelson was my fifth senior manager that put me over the top to executive. Um, this was when he made manager and he was so excited about the person that he signed up. Um, he signed up a couple people on the same day and he called and left me a ma message and it said, I know every day won't be like this, so I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it. And we always laugh and tease him about that, but it is a big deal when you get to manager. It is a big deal to get to senior manager. So, I like to celebrate the people on my team that help me get to where I go. And so um, this is Craig and his wife, Kathy. Almost done, Candace. Um, this is a card, a big, big card that I sent to um, Coach Wright. He was my daughter's basketball coach and went, and they had a big surprise um, thing for him at one of his last games. He had no idea that these people were coming. And my daughter lived in Arizona, so she couldn't go. And I actually wasn't able to go. But these pictures were on Facebook. So I took these pictures from Facebook and made this big card for him. Um, one, because I couldn't be there. And so this was my way of celebrating what he had done for 25 years. And he and his wife both just, oh, they just couldn't believe it. They called me, how excited they were about the card, how much it meant to them that I sent that to them. So because of that card, I met his wife, Robin. I didn't know her. Um, she wasn't married to him when my daughter played basketball. And so I met Robin and Robin um, had a really tough family situation. Her boys moved back to North Carolina from Mat Matawan, from Michigan, and, and she was missing them. And they didn't have a good relationship. She kind of called me about the card I sent. So then she had posted some things on Facebook about going to see her son and watching him play baseball and, and how much it meant to her. And, and she shared with me how hard it is, you know, not having her boys. And I kind of went through a similar thing at one time with my daughters. And so I shared that with her and told her things are going to be better and you are going to have those relationships back when they grow up and they understand a little better. And so, um, I sent her this card and she sent me a message, a text message that said, the card made me cry. I, I, you know, how much she appreciated what I had to say. And the, and the upside of that is now, you know, two years later, she has reconnected with her boys and has good relationships with them. So just a card to encourage somebody about something that I'd been through myself. Um, this is a this is my daughter again who just arrived today with her kids. But you know, she, my my daughters in Arizona are great about putting pictures on. They had gone somewhere and she had posted these pictures, and I just sent a card that just said, you know, I love the pictures of your family. You mean the world to me. And just so yeah, I may not be there, but I'm I'm there through cards and and pictures just so they know that I'm thinking about them. Hopping by, I thought, oh, that's going to make a great card. Put that on the front of the card. Reminded my friend from high school how we used to go to the movie theater and meet our boyfriends when we were eighth grade. 
and get popcorn and red licorice. And so we just, we just laughed and, and, you know, it's just those kind of things that are fun. It's not the birthday cards. It's not the, the sympathy cards and the cards that people expect. It's they mean to us that really, to me, are the most effective um, real estate. Um, you know, this is a, my sister's home and it was, it's for sale. And so I, I sent the realtor a card saying, you know, oh, I heard that you have a new listing and, and uh, he loved the card and he called me and he said, I don't know how you did that, but I need to know how. And so we met and he signed up as a customer for send out cards just from this card. And then this is a home anniversary card that I designed for Gail to use and there's room to put a picture on the front and it's a very it's a very kind of classy looking card it's a nice verse in it and so she saves this as a campaign card and uses it to send you know um for the home anniversaries so that's my cards more but those are some of the ones that I thought might inspire you to think outside the box um friend me on facebook if we're not friends uh, my email is melinda at the cardguru.com. I actually have a new online business that's um, custom card templates. It's, it's advertised as custom card templates for busy professionals. So right now there's about 500 cards in there. They're not going to be any kind of cards that you're going to find in the send out card catalog. These are all custom design cards. And then I also do a lot of custom card design work for businesses. So if they sign up and they want some custom cards made with their logos and the custom backs and, and things, then, you know, I offer that as a service to the people that I sign up. And then, you know, Gail sends people my way. I, I have a lot of other people that send folks my way to do custom cards. Card template is www.thecardguru.com and it'll take you to Shopify, which is a little platform that I use, and that's where my online store is. So if you have any desire to look at it, and if you have any feedback for me about that, because it's new and I'm just learning, um, I'd love to hear love to hear from you about that. So thank you for having me on, Candice. I really appreciate it. I hope I didn't take up too much of the time. No, that was and, fantastic. Um, I, I if actually... anybody has any questions, you can email me. I actually upgraded my Zoom today, so I'm glad you. I, I'm glad I did because you ran over, and that's good. Um, but there are questions, um, and I think Christy had a question for you. Do you want to un unmute yourself and ask Christy? Okay. Christy, are you there? Am I unmuted? Yep, you sure are. Okay, my question. I think you answered it there in your last in your last little bit. You do offer that as a service, so you get paid to create these different cards for people for businesses but after they're already a customer um yeah a customer distributor because like um like gail sent somebody to me that's a realtor that signed up with her and they were looking for custom cards and she knew that i'd be willing to do it and so i get referrals from her and then like um, Fox Motorsports is one of my distributors in Grand Rapids. They sell every kind of motorcycle and, you know, snowmobile and four wheelers you can imagine. And so I did some custom cards for them. They were a distributor. So if they're a distributor of mine and they're going to be sending a lot of cards, the price for them might be different than somebody who's not on my team who just needs some card work done because I, I, you know, I like to treat my customers and distributors. I like to help them, but I also can't do it for free because it takes time and I have to sometimes buy images. So, but yeah, I do get, I do get paid for it. Okay. Awesome. Do you, can you give us an idea of your price range? Um, typically I charge, around fifty dollars an hour but i can do several cards in an hour okay. um so you know if they're very custom but that and that would include a custom back you know so 
but then like um, on my on my Shopify site, a single card is seven fifty seven dollars and fifty cents. But if you buy seventy five dollars worth of cards or ten of them, then you get a discount. If you buy one hundred fifty dollars worth of cards, you get a bigger discount. So those cards are less expensive, um, but they're not as custom. They are custom. They're not anything you're going to get from send out cards, but they're not custom as far as they don't say Ziegler Motorsports on the front. Okay. Okay. So. Awesome. Any other questions for Melinda before we end the call? Any other questions? Go ahead and unmute yourself if you have a question. No? Okay. Well, on behalf, <laughs> on behalf of everybody, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us. I am just totally blown away. I got some really great ideas, and I'm sure everybody else did too. And we will be sure to look out, check out your website. It's fantastic. So thank you so okay. much for sharing with us tonight. I'd love some feedback. You know? We I'd will. I'd love some feedback. Okay. We will. All right. Will. Thank you. Sorry, Thank you so over. much. No, we're good. We're good. All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Good night, everyone. All right. Good night. Good night.